Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's Max Fisher here from Better Universe, and it's another workout Wednesday. Uh, I don't know if you're having a nice little rainy morning like I am here in upstate New York, but uh, I kind of enjoy the rain. You know, it's soothing and calms you down. But spring, it's springtime, spring showers, and it, they're going to bring the summer in. And the summer always means beach season, guys. We got abs and arms today. Or, yeah, abs and arms. So, uh, it's going to be 10 minutes on. One minute for each exercise, we're going to alternate between arm workouts and ab workouts. Now, my favorite motivation when uh, these spring showers start to hit is sun's out, gun's out, and it's ab season, baby. You'll hear me say that. I probably already said it like a hundred times to people today. So, uh, in light of that, that's what we're going to be doing. And, uh, you know, just like I have always said, you know, looks aren't that important to me in my fitness journey, but I can understand how some people, you know, it gives them that new self-confidence, that new self-esteem, maybe helps them restructure who they really think they are. And it's important to, you know, not only feel good, but, you know, you gotta look, the, if you're feeling good, you probably should look the part too. And uh, for a lot of people, I feel like if they can transform their body, they can go through that struggle, they can lose those pounds and gain that muscle. And, uh, find that new higher self-confidence that it can really transform other areas of their life because they can bring this into that and with that said I want to say you know this is a 10 minute workout but your tip for today is there's no shortcuts guys this is something supplemental this is you know maybe you already went to the gym today and you want to make sure you are really grinded towards that goal of getting those abs and shoulders ready for you know showing off in your bikini or your whatever so uh, but there's no shortcuts maybe you you know had a hectic day and you just need you know a 10 minute workout so you've at least done something you still gotta hit the diet you still gotta you know get the rest you still gotta work towards it and strive towards it and take care of your body and uh, you know do your stretches and you know make sure that you're not pushing to the point where you're gonna break yourself there's no shortcuts guys 10 minutes, everybody's got, you know, a little room for 10 minutes, but realistically, if you've neglected your body for 10 years, 10 minutes isn't going to change very much. You need to really get after it. Now, if you're doing, you know, if say, let's say if you did four, three to four workouts that are 10 minutes long each day, while they seem minimal, 10 minutes, you know, a piece three times a day, that adds up to 30 minutes, and each time you're coming back, you're you know you're pretty fresh, you're new, you're really building that. It's actually building that discipline more, like in a in a more willpower towards getting shit done and actually working out. If you're building it in those 10 minute increments, because you have to restart every time to get that motivation to get going. So you need to find what out what works for you, and just realize that it's not always going to be easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And uh, I hope you guys, you know, if you haven't started already, start on this journey to physical fitness because it's going to bring an alignment in your mind too. It it's just doesn't affect the body. You, your well-being carries into your mind, into your emotions, into your thoughts. It's, you know, where the body's connected by the neck, right to the brain. So one can't affect the other, or one can't not affect the other. That's all. I've, all right. So that's all I've got to say on that. Um, We'll get back to you in about three seconds, and we're gonna go through the workout, and then we're gonna get started. All right, catch you in a sec. All right, 10 minutes, abs and arms, here we go. First exercise we're gonna do, push-ups, all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion. If you're working on your advanced calisthenics, maybe lean a bit forward, make sure you protract your cal scalpula back at the top. Um, for all of, all of us regular ones, People who just want to get in a little more shape all the way down all the way up touch, touch the chest to the ground full range of motion no sense in doing anything halfway <sighs> right into abs second minute we're gonna be doing sit-ups you can put your hands behind your head try not to crank on the back of the neck when you're coming up and if you want to make it a little harder take out the ability for your hip flexors to help as much you can do <sighs> butterfly sit-ups like that Moving on to the next, this is something I call seven way shoulders. Oh, it's pretty simple on the idea. If you can't remember all the exercises, just do as many as you can. It's uh, 
for your stabilizers. 25 pounds, probably a little lot for me, but uh, I'm going to go with it anyways. It's only a minute long, so I'm going to see if I can make it through. But basically, what we're doing is we're going out, up, front, sides, middle, curl, and press, and down. I'll do it one more time for you guys. Out, up, front, sides, middle, curl, press, and down. That's them with my shoulders. Then we're gonna go right into our ab twist. Now, you can do it without a weight, you can do it with a weight. Uh, it all depends on how you're feeling today. But basically, feet off the ground, over to one side, and over to the next. If you have to do it without weight, just keep on twisting. And if you're feeling a little more advanced, come down, overhead, and down to the side. Oh, but that's only for more advanced. After you're done with your ab twist, we're gonna do something called locomotive. Basically, grab a dumbbell in each hand, and you're doing some kind of row, forward or backwards if you want to switch at the 30 second mark. Keep going till that one minute is up. After that, we're going right into standing ab twist. So I really want you to try and get full range of motion on these, really squeeze all the way through, work on your mobility and your spine flexion. So all the way through, keep it going. Uh, really twist it and throw the knee working on that nice twist squeezing out maybe some of those toxins that you built up so then we're gonna move right into um, dips so I'm doing mine on the rings I'm gonna show you a couple different variations real quick after that but uh, just full range of motion guys that's all I want to see all the way down all the way up if you're feeling advanced maybe tuck the legs, suck the abs in, but all the way down, all the way up for the full minute. If you got some dumbbells, maybe you can do some dips on those. You can do them uh, your parallel bars, maybe up feet on the ground, maybe feet elevated, whatever you gotta do to get the dips done. Moving on after that, we're gonna do some side plank. You can do a forearm facing you, away from you, Maybe up on your hand, maybe leg up, more advanced, maybe doing some twists, or advanced, whatever you want. After that, we're gonna go right into bicep curls. Bud's gonna take over my spot, but I'm doing these from the rings. You can do Australian or you can use dumbbells. I feel like the body weight's more effective. Uh, if you have a stationary position, you can walk it in or out. Uh, if you walk it out, meaning coming out at like this, It'll make it easier for you. I, however, have my rings on a crane, so I'm forced to do them from the bottom position, which, depending on your perspective, is either good or bad. But, basically, keeping those wrists tight, if you bend the wrists, you'll never get your hands all the way up to your forehead. So keep the wrist tight, and then all the way up. Bringing the hips through, keeping the legs tight. There you go. And then we're gonna do, sorry, almost forgot. Then we're gonna do side plank, other side, obviously variations, whatever you wanna do. Do the cha-cha, maybe some claps, I don't know. Whatever you're feeling. Get it done. 10 minutes on the clock, got a little motivation, ready to play for you. Let's get it started. And, Three, two, one. You're one of the world's richest people. Uh, your company is one of the world's richest companies. He is, without question, one of the greatest business leaders, investors, philanthropists of all time, the Warren Buffett. Before we change the world, we change ourselves. Things are still more important and easier. 
you're your own biggest asset by far. I mean, you've got you've got all kinds of potential. Most people go through life using up a very very small part of that potential, and so anything you do that invests in yourself uh, is that's the best investment you can possibly make. To transform what you see on the outside, you've got to transform who you are on the inside. All right, the Habs got. Just like a human growth, you can never, this body can never grow, 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 grow. Certain time, the slow growth of the body is slow, but you should grow your mind, grow your culture, grow your value, grow your wisdom. You control your destiny. You can create what you want to create. You have gifts that nobody else on the planet has. You have talent. You have everything. Everything you need to become whatever you want is right here. Believe what you're doing. Love it. Whether people like it or don't like it, be simple. I like the word. Life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you can get, right? I never know I would be here talking to you and talking to Charlie Rose. I never know. I just made one choice when I was 16 years old that I was no longer going to be able to. And that I was going to be a hero myself. And that I was going to change my life. And I had no idea that it would lead me here. No idea I'd be in the set talking to you, doing what we're doing. No idea. It was never Step my shoulders. The only thing I knew is I didn't want to be the victim in this other trajectory of life. I wanted something different. So I made that choice. The choices you make. Today, tomorrow, it might affect you for the next year, five years, ten years, or for the rest of your life. A lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and so they complain. What does being a victim get you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So if you're getting nothing from one direction, why not turn around and go to the other direction? Path of victimization is nothing. Path of hero, you might as well give it a shot, and all the different cool things that happen along the way are just amazing. There's never a lack of opportunity. Never. If, if you don't think there's an opportunity there, have a balance. And so it's not it's not the opportunity, it's you. Remember, the mind controls the body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. Right and it's because of one choice. And that's it. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking you've made all these different choices and life is in one direction, you have one different choice. Just one. And see what happens. The most important thing is that you have a vision. That you have a goal. Because without that vision, without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never going to end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turns you on. No, I, uh, uh, I found, I was lucky. I found something else that turned me on. But you don't want to take a job just for the money. You don't want to take a job for an organization that you really don't feel good about or work for people that you don't feel good about. You, you really want to be excited about that every morning. Follow your passion. Do something you're very passionate about. And don't try to chase what is kind of the hot passion of the day. You gotta know what you're good at, you gotta know what you're marginal at, and you gotta know what you're stuck at. And you've gotta find people who complement your skill. You know, and you gotta know what type of thinker you are, you gotta know how you work, you know. And once you start to understand who you are, then you can start finding places where you'll be successful and you won't be, you won't be lying to yourself. You can have any habit you want to be. You can be, you can be lazy, you can be prompt, you can be, you can be late, you can be honest, you can cut corners. So you have all these choices. And those are choices for you to make. Nobody else is going to make them for you. And I would suggest that you play a little game with me too. Uh, think about the person you would most like to be in life. So maybe it's one of your contemporaries, maybe it's somebody a little older, but pick out the person you admire the most, the person you change places with as you could. And then write down why you admire them. Just put it on a piece of paper. And then figure out the person that you would least like to change places with, who really turns you off, who you find repulsive. And list the reasons why that person turned you off so much. And then look at that list. 
And you'll find that everything on the left hand side that's in my own other people, a lot of these they bring to life. You'll find those are things you can do yourself. It's very simple. You gotta apply yourself. But the habits you form in doing that early on will carry you through life. If you do that, two or three years from now, if you go through the same exercise, you'll find out that the person you admire the most is yourself. Baby steps count too. As long as you're going forward. And one day you add all those baby steps up and you might be surprised at what you can get to. So you got to really have a specific order to me to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe. That I want to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. That was a great vision and that specifically to look like Reg Park and to be up there on that stage and to lift the trophy overhead and to win the championship over and over and over again. So that was a great goal. I put pictures of Rich Park and of Sonny Liston, of uh, boxers and of Ali and of powerlifters and weightlifters all over my bedroom uh, in the uh, wall. So that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up, I look at those pictures and they motivate me. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. The people you look up to are going to form your vision of what the world, you know, how you want to be in later life. This is why I always smiled when I was in the gym. People always came up to me and said, why are you smiling? You're working out five hours a day. You're doing the same as the other guys, but the other guys have a sour face. They're pissed off to death to do another rep or another set or something. I looked forward to I looked forward to another thousand set, uh, reps of, of sit-ups. I looked forward to another 500 pounds of, of, of uh, leg press or squat. I looked forward to more and more curls until my arms fall off. Why? Because I knew that every rep that I did, and every set that I did, and more weights that I lifted, I get one step closer to turning that vision into reality. You have to act on your passion. You have to act on your inner drive. Don't let those feelings stay inside you. You gotta know what to do with them. You gotta know how to make them work in order to get what you want. Don't keep it inside. Most of you are not doing what you want to do with your life because you're worried about somebody else's opinion. Don't let anybody steer you away from where you want to be in life. Not your parents, not your teachers, not your guidance counselors. If you have a passion and you feel confident that you can do it, go after it. The hell with everybody else. This is your life. You have the tools and resources. When you wake up every day, know that you're blessed. You've been given an opportunity that most people in life have not. You have the ability to live your dreams. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. Good, great, unstoppable. Every team, every work atmosphere, no matter what you do, must consist of those three personalities. If you have those three personalities and you can identify the individuals that have those three personalities, you guarantee success in whatever you do. All the big, famous people that you hear about, like <laughs> Branson and Steve Jobs and, and Zuckerberg, they're no different than you. 70 something percent of the world still in or something. So, you can achieve this. Now, it's not going to be easy, you know, just wake up on Tuesday and come rich on Wednesday. But it doesn't take any more effort than going to a job that you hate. All you have to do is think, believe in your heart, and you'll achieve it. It's not true. There's a lot of people who think wonderful, great thoughts. They believe that I deserve this and I can have this. But they don't do one thing, and this is what causes their problem. They don't take consistent action every day. Most people aren't willing to commit to switching 
from what's comfortable to what's not long enough for the new to be comfortable. That's some powerful words he just says that there. Most people aren't willing to commit long enough to make the new comfortable. You have to work every day to be the person you want to be. Especially if you have years of bad programming, bad people brainwashing you, self-limiting beliefs. I was lucky I started this journey at 24 and not 54. I don't have years and years of torment and failure and past experiences built into my thinking that makes me perceive myself as unable to accomplish the things I want to accomplish. So, with that said, and to compound on what I said this morning, this isn't a quick fix, guys. If you have, I mean, sure, it might be a, a quick fix if you're four or five years old and you can grab these concepts, but the problem, the chances are it's probably not. You have to build this, you have to, if you have kids, you have to nurture this into them. You have to instill that they can do anything, be anything they want, do what they need to do to make their dreams become a reality. There's a certain amount of discipline and effort you have to teach them. Maybe they already naturally have it, but you need to help them develop it. You need to be those words of wisdom, those words of encouragement, don't be that little sense of practicality. The world's going to have be tons of, there's going to be tons of people shoving practicality down their throat. Shoving down practicality down your throat. Comfort, security down your throat. You have to try and break free from that, guys. There's a little bit of risk involved, but the end product is always worth it. With that said, Max Fisher here. It's a workout Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are getting after it. Hope you guys like the motivation. It's your mind, body, spirit connection. And I'm gonna see you guys on Friday. Later.